All right, now let's talk about a team that um, is actually slated to win the NFC North at the current moment, and that's the Detroit Lions. And in particular, I'm going to talk about the way that this team is kind of evolving. Um, they're trying to basically be like a Dallas Cowboys light in the fact that they are trying to utilize this ultra slow production offensively uh, to kind of milk out their offensive drives while still getting first downs. Um, and in the meantime, limit the amount of time that their defense, which is the NFL's worst, is out on the field. And if we look at the results, we could say, well, this strategy has worked. A win, a win, a win. Loss, but win, win, win. So they've won three out of their last, uh, sorry, six out of their last seven games. Uh, maybe the strategy is, is working for them positively. But the reality is, um, it's not whether it's worked in the past. Let's look at what we think it could do in the future. Um, and the problem that I think that they're going to run into is that this strategy inevitably is not the most efficient strategy out there. And I think it's going to cause them problems when they get into situations where they have to chase the opposing team. If you look at the offensive production from these teams they faced, you could see offensive efficiency. These teams are terrible. The Minnesota Vikings offense is one of the worst in the NFL. Then you've got the Jaguars, even worse. The Houston Texans and the St. Louis, uh, LA Rams. And all these teams have been terrible offensively so far this year. And actually, if you look down here, we could see, sure enough, that the Detroit Lions have played the easiest schedule of opposing offenses so far this year. So, of course, uh, such a strategy may work for them up to this point in time and could even get them into the playoffs. We'll have to see. Uh, just slow down, and you're facing bad offenses who aren't going to be able to score quite as effectively on your defense anyways. Uh, but look at these. I'll just go ahead and read off to you some of their um, – the number of plays and number of offensive points that have been produced, and then their plays per point, which is an interesting metric to consider at some point if you guys are looking at new metrics to contemplate. Uh, week 7 against the Redskins, they ran 51 offensive plays and had 20 points in that game. And that's 2.6 plays per point. In Week 8, against the Houston Texans, 56 offensive plays, only 13 points. That's 4.3 plays per point. Uh, week 9, against an inept Minnesota Vikings offense, they were able to run 62 plays, but they only gained 22 points, still 2.8 points per pl uh, plays per point. Uh, week 11, against the Jacksonville Jaguars, only 57 plays, only 13 points, offensively, that is and 4.4 plays per point. And week 12, obviously last week on Thanksgiving against the Minnesota Vikings, 61 plays, only 16 offensive points. That's 3.8 plays per point. That's not going to get it done against decent teams in the postseason. Um, you, you notice these number of plays that I'm mentioning to you don't really sound like a lot of plays, and that's the reality. They've actually lost the time of possession battle in four of their last five games. So even this slowdown strategy, which Dallas is using successfully, or they did you know, in prior years and maybe to start this season, they're, they're a much more dynamic offense right now, and uh, they aren't really a, a slowdown, uh, drag-it-out team anymore. They're actually much more efficient and explosive offensively. But the Detroit Lions, you know, they, Dallas is winning time of possession battles. Detroit's not. They're losing it in four of the last five games. Um, in the last four weeks, listen to this. The last four weeks, they've had 42 offensive drives. Only five of those ended in touchdowns. The only teams worse than 12% touchdown rate on drives were the Browns and the Rams. We're talking about two terrible franchises that aren't even anywhere close to being in the playoff picture. And the, those are the only two teams um, that the Detroit Lions have a better touchdown rate at. So what's the issue there? Well, if they're only scoring touchdowns on about 12% of their drives because they're going so slow and they're snapping the ball with so little time on the clock and they're not really gaining chunk yardage to get down there quite as often and so they're having to eat away drives and convert on third down often, eventually they're going to fail at one point or another. 
And so that drive is not going to convert into a touchdown. They only have 10 field goals over the span also. So it's not like they're getting down there every single time and just kicking field goals and they're terrible in the red zone. That's not the case. The case is they're not even getting in a scoring position often enough because that offense isn't quite efficient. And when they try to minimize the game, um, and what they end up doing is they're not scoring touchdowns very much. They're keeping the opponent team in the game, even though this opponent's offense stinks. And it's going to end up costing them. Uh, I, I truly believe. Look at these games. They win by three points. Here they had uh, return touchdowns, two of them. So this game, they only had uh, 13 offensive points in this game. And, and Jacksonville had 19. They win this game by a close margin. They lose this game by a close margin. Three-point win, three-point win, one-point win. When, when you're actually going up against teams with legitimate offenses, it's going to be difficult. This game against the Redskins uh, was a real anomaly. The Redskins fumbled it in the end zone. They had a couple turnovers in that game. And that's the other thing that, the, uh, that Detroit is benefiting from. In five of their last six games, they've also won the turnover battle. And they've won five of their last six games. So this is a team that's relying on winning turnovers and going up against terrible offenses. And those are not two recipes that you're going to be able to depend upon when you get to the postseason. Particularly in this division, uh, sorry, in this conference. In the, in the AFC, we have teams with struggling offenses like the Houston Texans might make playoffs. Like the Baltimore Ravens that might make the playoffs. Like the Kansas City Chiefs that might make the playoffs. In the NFC, we're talking about offenses like Dallas, Atlanta. You know, we're talking about offenses that can produce points. Uh, the New York Giants are one of those teams that potentially can can produce points with a with a better offense. So we are talking about teams that are going to be in, in this ilk of terrible offenses that they're going to have success against. The Washington Redskins, another team, if they're able to make uh, the postseason, a very good offense. So it's going to be difficult for Detroit to maintain this recipe. And um, while they're doing well, consider the fact that this schedule that they've gone up against has been extremely friendly. And, and this stretch right here where they lost three games in a row and barely won this game against the Colts to start the season, that's some of those things that they're going to end up facing here towards the end when they're going up against much more well-rounded, better teams, specifically those teams which have good offenses.